Hi, today we're going to work on how to divide an object into equal segments. Now this can be a problem that um, can be difficult to figure out for yourself, which is why I'm doing this video. It's something you're going to need to do from time to time for many different reasons. You might want to put some stripes into something. Uh, you might be creating a label format or any number of different things that you're going to have to divide up an object. And we're going to start with a rectangle here. And I'm just going to draw it at a random size. And if I look up here, I am showing my toolbars. I, I normally don't do that because I don't want the videos to be specific to any uh, one uh, vector program or another. Um, I am showing them in this instance because we're going to be using some of this stuff up here. Uh, this is, of course, Corel Draw. Um, but you can do this with Adobe Illustrator just as easily. Of course, your toolbars are going to appear different. Um, but anyway, if I look up here at my dimensions, I can see that this rectangle is 6.167 inches wide. Now, let's say I want to divide this up into five equal segments going horizontally. If I were to try and do that mathematically using my rulers, it would be very frustrating and difficult because I would have to take 6.167, divide that by 5, and I'd get some decimal uh, measurement and then I'd have to try and go up here on my rulers and line everything up and uh, you could spend a lot of time on it and still probably not qu quite get it right. Um, so here's the way we're going to do it. I'm going to take a guideline here. I'll take two guidelines and I'll put them on either end of the rectangle. Now as you can see I don't use snap to object because I don't like it. I don't like the way it takes control over things and takes it away from me and puts it somewhere I may or may not want it. Um, but If you use that, this, that might make that part a little bit easier. So now I have two guidelines on either side of my rectangle. I'm going to take this guideline here. I'll go up here to Edit and I want to go to Duplicate. And as you can see, the uh, keyboard shortcut for Duplicate is Control D. So instead of doing them one at a time, I'm going to hit Control D. I'm going to do this four times. And now I have uh, five segments of my rectangle. Now they're not equal, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is now go back up to Edit, uh, Select All, Select All Guidelines and they all turn red. Now they're all selected. So I'm going to go to Arrange, Align and Distribute, Align and Distribute. That opens up this menu. Now I don't want to use Align for this. That's uh, used for a different purpose. I'm going to use Distribute because I want the lines distributed equally. We're using the horizontal distribution. And I'll click Center. It'll distribute objects just as well as guidelines and that's what these are for so any of these would result in the same thing but we'll use center because a guideline doesn't really have any width. Now this is important distribute to extent of selection which obviously means all the lines that are selected are going to be the extent of the distribution so it'll go from left to right once I hit apply so I'll hit apply and now my rectangle is divided into five equal segments and I can do whatever it was I wanted to do. Of course it doesn't have to be five, it can be as many as you want and you can do it vertically too using the same uh, distribute command. It doesn't have to be a rectangle, I just use that because it's a simple shape but any shape you have you can divide vertically or horizontally equally using this same technique. So that's the way I do it and I hope your next project goes well.